I'm Matt Gutman on the parade route, and you got a special guest. I, I do. This is Shane Bavo. He's taking off his jacket right now, and he's going to show you the fantastic suit he got for the occasion. It's not just Donald Trump who's had a whirlwind 24 hours. Shane also, he is from what he calls a little speck in Illinois yeah. called... What is it? Uh, Stonington, Illinois. Stonington, Illinois, and he's got a pretty incredible story. He started out as a social media guy, a volunteer for the Trump campaign, yeah. and worked his way up. You know, it's just an absolute blessing to even be here right now talking to you. You know, you just seem like a great, genuine guy, and I'm blessed just to be here in D.C. and enjoying history. And um, I just never thought this would happen to a... To a and, um, you know, I, I'm lost for words. I, uh, I'm just a middle class, uh, blue collar guy, and um, I'm getting to experience some, some great history here. And I Last night, you, had, you were invited into a tent, and you didn't exactly know what was going to happen when you walked in there. No. And something left your jaw dropped and your eyes a little bit misty. Yeah, um, well, I ended up getting, I was actually in uh, New York. I thought I'd visit Trump Tower, and then uh, halfway I got a call from, I don't know if it was Kelly Conaway or uh, one of Donald Trump's um, secretaries. I don't know. I just, uh, I was just amazed. And she goes, uh, well, we have a, uh, Donald Trump would like to talk to you. And I started stuttering because I was like, <laughs> wow, this doesn't happen to a guy like me, you know, and, uh, you know, and, um, she goes, you know what, I'm going to do something better for you. We got some VIP tickets, and uh, we'd love for you to come to the opening ceremony and, um, you know, uh, v VIP. And I was like, wow, I just can't believe it. You know, I'm just so amazed. And uh, I, and uh, so what happened was is Secret Service uh, followed me into um, a room that Donald Trump was in, and all started clapping. And it was just so touching to me, and I, I, I just lost for words. And it was especially touching to you because you were a, a single father. You're 24 years old, and your own father, who was a vet, um, is sick, right? Yeah, yeah he, has, uh, he has cancer. And, um, you know, he, he was the American dream. He, uh, he served our, uh, our military. He was in the Army. And uh, we lived in a trailer. And um, he, he, uh, I remember him saying he was going to join the military to give us the, the pursuit of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And he did. And um, it's just a um, blessing to be here. And uh, if it wasn't for him, I, I wouldn't be here. And then Donald Trump did something that you will never forget. No, he took no. a phone and he called your dad. He did. What's he, your dad's he, name? Yeah, Don Bouvet. Don as well, right? Yeah, yeah he, he called my dad and uh, he goes, hey, Don, I like your name. And because uh, <laughs> they share the same name and uh, he changed my life forever. And uh, I, I, I can't even describe the words, uh, how I felt at that time. I, I gave him a bear hug and... Uh, he, and we spent a lot of time in the mall today, and people said, you guys don't know Donald Trump like we know Donald Trump. And there's yeah. another thing that he did for you and your father yeah. that was surprised me as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, he ended up uh, giving $10,000 to me and uh, my family for medical bills, and um, it's just that side of it. He was generous. He just was uh, caring, and uh, he goes, wow, um, you know, uh, your life will forever change. Your front, your front page of the Washington Post. And I said, wow. I said, I owe it to God and the people, you know, that got me here. So I just thank you for everything you've done. So. And the man who called, who, who ran the show, Celebrity Apprentice and Apprentice, said that you were a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, it's just amazing for him to say that. You know, um, I, I, I'm, it's people over politics, not politics over people. And that's what I represent. I represent the people. So. And uh, it's just amazing to be in his presence and, and meeting him. It was a life uh, experience that I'll always remember forever, and I know my dad will also. So. What, what are you going to tell your son about that meeting? Uh, I'm, uh, we're probably uh, going to watch the video together of him talking to my dad, and uh, I just can't wait to be there with him and, and tell him about it. So, Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you.